welcome back to my channel and today I have a really cute and simple DIY for you that's basically Tuscan inspired in my mind. Um, I did this same technique. What I'm going to do is transfer napkins onto wood and I did this technique back in the fall um, and I put pumpkin um, napkins on wood and used them for pictures and I'll link that video down below as well. But this is so simple, so let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this project. I picked these napkins up at Party City. Um, my Dollar Tree normally has a lot of beautiful napkins, but they didn't this, this time that I went. I don't know why. I went to two. Uh, I've got a couple more I can go to, so I'm going to start scoping those out and snagging those whenever I can find them. But this was around, I can't remember, I bought them several, several months ago. I'm thinking I paid like maybe $1.79, maybe two, two something, but at no more than that for these napkins. But they're beautiful and they just have a Tuscan vibe to me. Okay, so you'll need some napkins of your choice to match your decor. Then you're gonna need a piece of wood, and this is just uh, Luon plywood. It's real thin, I think it's like an eighth of an inch. We had it left over from a, another project in the past. So I'm just gonna be using this. And then you're gonna need some jute. I may put that around the outside of it, or I may just paint it with the folk art metallic paint in the antique gold because I think it matches nicely with these napkins, okay? And if I use the jute, you'll need a glue gun. You're gonna need some cling wrap and you're gonna need some parchment paper and an iron without steam. You cannot use steam and scissors to cut your napkin. So I'm gonna put this uh, cutting board down so that I can iron on that and then all I did was I just opened my napkin up to see how big that I needed to cut it to fit my wood. And you can overlap it if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm either, like I said, gonna put the jute or I'm gonna paint it. And then, then um, so you just take your scissors and cut around the edge, okay? Now what you need to do, and this is already coming out off nicely, is take your plies apart, okay? Carefully, so that it doesn't tear. Okay? And you're gonna need a sanding block at the end. Okay, so what you want to do is get you a piece of your cling wrap and just tear it off and just put it on your board. And as best as you can, try to get all the wrinkles out of it. I mean, it won't be perfect because it is cling wrap, but you want to get as much, as many of them out as you can, okay? And while you're doing this, go ahead, preheat your iron to hot and do not put any steam. You can't use steam, okay? Then just lay this napkin on here like you want it. Make sure it's gonna cover your board nicely. Then just get you a piece of parchment paper. And make sure that napkin has not moved. Lay that over your napkin. Then pick up your iron and just set it down there. And what we're gonna do is fuse that cling wrap to the napkin, which will adhere it to the wood. And just sort of pick it up and slightly, ever so slightly move it. And it may take you around 15 minutes to do this. Um, Cause you wanna move slow and you can check periodically the edges to make sure that it has adhered. 
So I'll be back after I get this adhered and I'll let you see what it looks like before we take it off. I'll be right back. Okay, I've been ironing not quite 15 minutes, probably more like seven. And this will be really hot, so be careful. But when you go to flip it back, you can see that it is adhered. So that's what we wanted. So I'm gonna turn my iron off. Okay, now what you have is this, and this is really pretty. You can totally customize your look. And like I said, this is hot, okay? So now what you wanna do is just take your scissors and just go along the outside edge and trim this off. That will get rid of the excess paper and saran wrap but this is so easy and you can totally customize this to your own decor and I just love that about it okay and then after you go around and cut it's still kind of ragged okay but that is not a problem at all so what we're going to do I'm just going to put that same parchment paper down to protect my surface. So what we're going to do to get rid of that nastiness is just take our sandpaper and gently start sanding. And this will get rid, and you want to sand downwards, this will get rid of your extra rough edges and any um, napkin that's overhanging or the um, saran wrap. So I'm gonna go around and work on this and I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay, I sanded around my edges and as you can see, they're nice. Okay, and I really love how this has turned out. Now what I've decided to do, I am gonna put some jute on this around the edges so my glue gun is hot. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue and put it on this end right here to get myself started. Then I'm just gonna put a little bead, very small amount, on the top. And pull my jute taut. And then just push down on it. And I think this is gonna give it an extra added flare not going to be really noticeable but it's just going to give it just a little bit okay and then I'm just going to go all the way around like that and I'll be back when I'm finished Okay, I went around and put the jute all the way around. And like I said, I didn't, I deliberately did not want it to stand out a lot. You could put more, you could put something wider. I just wanted it to be kind of just totally understated, but pretty. So now what I'm going to do, you can paint these little wood blocks if you want, but mine are not going to be seen from the back at all. So what I'm just gonna do is just get some glue let me make sure where I want these. Because you want, I wanted mine at a, at a slight angle. Okay, so this is gonna be fine like this. So I'm just gonna put some glue right on here. Okay. 
and put it right there on the end and hold it just for a minute. It doesn't take long. But like I said, if you're gonna get it seen from the back, I would paint the back as well as I would paint um, these little legs. Okay, so here it is. I absolutely love it. And you can see it sets up nicely all by itself. And it's just a beautiful addition to your decor. And you could make it, like I said, to match whatever you like. Um, and I'm gonna go put it in there in my um, entryway and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, here it is on my entryway. And I love how it looks with those flowers in that container that I made. But you can see it is really beautiful. It gives it such a flare. It's really hard to see because in this hall, I don't have a lot of light that much, but it is really a beautiful addition there and it sets so nicely. So you can either angle it that way or you can put it straight ahead. Either way, and it really looks beautiful. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.